Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 32nd episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers titled A Star is Born. We begin this episode in the hallways of Angel Grove High where Kim asks Tommy if he's coming to the beach with the rest of them tomorrow. Turns out Tommy can't because he's trying out for a karate commercial. And so is Bulk? Tommy decides to demonstrate why he sells so many toys by doing karate with Bulk's scarf. And then they just leave. On the moon, Rita wants a day off. Every day is a day off, Rita. Goldar says he'll get rid of the rangers. This is gonna suck ass. At the beach, the rangers are all there, and of course Jason is showing off his manly arms and practicing karate. Bulk and Skull are there too, and of course, Bulk is the hairiest teenager to ever live, but he lets the rangers know that Tommy sucks a bag of dicks. Turns out, Bulk wants to get a tan before the audition, but Skull shoots the entire tanning lotion on him, running out of it. So he just uses mayo, and there's a goddamn jingle in the background. Also, Rita is asleep on the moon. Anyways, at the audition, Bulk shows up red as a tomato and sunburned to all hell, and he gets called into the audition room. There, he embarrasses himself just like he normally does. There's also someone there with a camera. The producer says that they've got their man, and Bulk boasts about it to Tommy before leaving. Back at the beach, the Rangers are playing with a volleyball before Trini sees Scorpina off screen. It's Morphin Time. We're treated to a nice little fight by the water where the rangers fight the putties and Scorpina. And then Scorpina introduces her pet worm. It spits out silk and wraps the five in a cocoon. They can't even contact Zordon. Bye. The putties then push them off of a cliff into the ocean. Man, these guys suck. <laughs> Zordon straight up basically says they'll be fine until they can get in contact with Tommy. What is Tommy doing? Auditioning, of course. He also left his communicator in his bag. Doesn't matter though, it's time for badass Tommy karate demonstration. Alpha and Zordon still can't get in contact with Tommy while the rangers go down the river in a cocoon complaining that the air is getting thin. Then they try their blade blasters. Literally, what have they been doing? Zoran says that they need to be teleported to the Zords right away to fight a new monster. Apparently, his name is Babe Ruthless. They do that and they fight giant Babe Ruthless, Goldar, and Scorpina. It's nice to see another week where we get to see individual Zord fights. But where the hell is Kim in all of this? Tommy finally gets done being a dick and gets communicator out in response to Zordon, and he's informed that the Rangers still suck without him. He morphs and calls on the Dragon Zord, which immediately fires Fingal missiles at Goldar and Scorpina. Seriously, where is Kimberly? They form the Dragon Zord in battle mode, and Jason hops into the Dragon Zord in battle mode, saying that he set his own Zord to remote. Oh, and there's Kim just like in the back of the cockpit. They take on the three monsters, and they even use a drill as a shield. It's okay though, they then just straight up and pale Babe Ruthless. R.I.P. weird ass monster. Goldar is back on the moon somehow, saying that there's more to come. Turns out Scorpina is in Angel Grove, and Billy decides that means that she's in her human form again. What? Turns out he's right, and she makes her worm grow? What is happening? They call on their zords again, and holy shit, this is like a bad dream. We already saw this. They form the Megazord, and they get put into Cocoon, and Goldar screams about how awesome he is. Tommy shows up late again for absolutely no reason, and he calls back out the Dragon Zord. Tommy, you really should have just followed everyone? Was he just like smoking a cigarette or something? Whatever, the Dragon Zord frees the Megazord via his drill tail, and the Mega Dragon Zord formed. Wow, they're just really trying to sell these toys, huh? They fire a huge Z at the worm and he dies. R.I.P. Worm. Rita's also mad that her henchmen sucked while she was asleep and they all blame each other. Kinda hate this episode. At the youth center, the rangers are watching the news with Ernie about how awesome the Power Rangers are. And then, the unthinkable happens. That one commercial that I think everyone forgot about was a plot point, and it shows Bulk, saying that if you don't take lessons, you'll look like him. While if you do take lessons, you'll look like Tommy. Did they know they were actually filming the commercial then? That's not how auditions work. Wait, is this how they cast this show? That would actually explain Tommy. This episode was so clearly two different Japanese episodes, and it's really hard to get through. Seriously, I kind of love how badly edited it is, though. Will next time make any more sense? Probably not, but until then, may the power protect you.